Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. Today I fucked up by admitting what they call me. Today I fucked up by going out to grab dinner for my tired and hungry family. For background, I have a severely disabled foster son who only eats chicken nuggets and chips. True, sometimes he'll try chips and nuggets, but this is rare. Secondly, I'm large. Not in the is that a 14 inch salami in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? way, but in the 250 pounds, size 14 shoe, double XL shirts, triple XL gloves and 10 inch beard way. And no ladies, the whole thing about big hands is a complete fallacy. The only thing it means is big gloves. And I'm married to a doctor who has seen a 14 inch or two in her time, but only in a professional sense. So, our little one hasn't been sleeping. The wife has had an 8 hour zoom training today on a Saturday. A thought of cooking passes into my brain and then fucks right out again. And instead it is decided I will visit the local chippy. Taking the chance to get out, I take a drive, run into the shop to place the order and then go and take a seat outside to enjoy some quiet for the first time in a very long time. Reddit occupies me. I say hi to a couple of people I have seen in a while and absent-mindedly note the queue growing close by all waiting to go in and order. At which point the order taker walks out of the shop, looks at me and states child's chicken nuggets. And I cheerfully reply, that's what they call me. I have no idea why. She pisses herself. A family at the front of the queue lose it. A mum is barely nipple height on me and is sucking her mask in through laughing so much. Other people ask what was said, nudges were given, explanations shared. And I did the slow walk of shame back to my car, in my small home village where I am instantly recognizable, wondering why I talk sometimes. TL Doctor described myself as having children's chicken nuggets. I'm laughing so loud I've been told to sushla mao. Nothing wrong with self-deprecating humor. It's one of my favorites. You know what though? I too, am also a big dude in a small town. This one time, I had ordered a small banana milkshake at this pizza slash fries place. After a few minutes, the girl emerged from the back, milkshake in hand, and called out small banana. And without giving it a thought I responded, just loud enough for everyone to hear, with that's what they call me. So, you're not alone. As long as wifey doesn't call you that in the bedroom, you're fine. Personally I love a bit of self-deprecating humor. E. S I'm the opposite 5, 6 but also with a less than impressive pant worm. Today I fucked up by enjoying cold eye drops. The smoke from the fires in CA has been horrible and my eyes are really itchy and irritated. My eye doctor husband kindly brought me home allergy eye drops. I used them last night and they worked great. Popped them into the fridge overnight, if you haven't tried cold eye drops, you are really missing out. This morning, my itchy eyes were back at it so I grabbed the bottle from the fridge and put a drop in each eye. This resulted in the most horrible burning imaginable. As I run to sink to start rinsing my eyes, I shouted at my husband, why does it burn? Apparently he checks the bottle and goes those are the dog's ear meds. The dog had an ear infection and the medication is refrigerated. I grabbed the wrong bottle. After copious flushing, scrubbing off my eye makeup that was running down my face and much judgment by my husband, the burning finally stopped. The dog's ear medication now lives behind all the condiments. Moral of the story, always check anything you're going to put into your eyes. Your ophthalmologist will tell you the same. Too long didn't read, today I fucked up by putting the dog's ear meds in my eyes. Once, in a fit of congestion, I snorted scalpacin instead of flonase. I was horrified when I realized my mistake. No lasting damage though. As a fellow allergy sufferer, I too chill my drops. I have also put ice cubes on my closed eyelids to numb the belts and requesting itches. I first thought judging by the title was that you were just going ham on them cold eye drops and fucked your eyes up somehow from it. I'm gonna try cold eye drops, thanks. 
I had an eye infection when I was in 7th grade and my dad took me to the doctor and they prescribed eye drops to help clear it up. My dad got it filled at the pharmacist but the thing is we had driven 4 hours to a softball tournament, I had told thimmed my eye hurts and it was getting worse but being a dad he said suck it up and let's go. I can't see when we get to the first game so we ended up leaving for the doctor, preception filled, then home. He brought the drops out and I put them in my eye and they fucking burn. I'm like dad, this fucking hurts he's like I'd maybe that's what it is supposed to do. Well we get home and I add more drops to my eye like 12 hour later or something. Same thing it burns. I look at the label and the printed out directions with my name and dosages obnoxiously covering the entire box and even hanging off it. I pull it back and it's fucking eardrops. Was like dad what in the mcfuck these are eardrops. He is fucking livid because this was a pharmacy 4 hours away not even in the same state and not even located in our area. After some choice words eventually he picks up the eye drops from a local place. Cleared up quick and didn't burn. Today I fucked up by making my 11 month daughter learn how to growl. To preface this, my lady and I have twins a boy and a girl. So the past couple days my daughter has been growling at my partner when she doesn't get something she wants such as a computer cord or charging cable. I first thought my partner was overreacting since I never heard it first hand until today. My son was asleep and my daughter was on my chest laying down. I started to feel something tickle in my throat and made a guttural hem sound to clear it out. Next thing I know, I hear a GRR come from my daughter and she's looking at me while smiling. I make the sound again and lo and behold she growls at me once again. We repeat this process a couple times as I'm sitting there kind of stunned but also laughing internally. My partner comes back into the room and I had to shamefully admit I'm the reason she growls. Now my daughter just growls randomly and I hope it doesn't happen in public lol. Too long didn't read, I cleared my throat and my daughter mimics me by growling. Now we have a pet dog in the house. Edit, you can see my daughter here. Here. That sounds adorable. It is honestly smile still hope she doesn't growl for too long lol. So cute. Babies at the age do start to explore and make growling noises. Mine did it in public and people did do double takes just to be sure it was a baby and not a dog in the stroller. Enjoy your little dinosaur while it lasts. Haha <laughs> that's awesome to hear. Yeah all they want to do is explore right now. Smiley face. They're ridiculously adorable and I think the growling is cute as hell. Start a metal band, do a oud. Call IT baby metal. OMG so cute. Won't last very long I promise ha ha ha.